So I'm installing the latest and greatest uh, Microsoft patches from uh, this Tuesday. And I'm getting this error when trying to install this update. The KB5034441. So I'll show you how to fix this so that that patch can install and you stop getting the... Uh, installation error. Open up a command prompt as an admin. And running RE agent C space forward slash info tells you where your Windows recovery is. And you want the hard drive, what hard drive it's on, hard drive zero. And you also want the partition that it's on, hard drive zero, partition four. To resize the recovery partition to big enough to install this patch, why Microsoft didn't come up with an automatic way of doing this, I don't know. Got to run RE agent C space forward slash disable. Then you need to start the disk partition utility. Then list disk, and it'll list all the disks in your system. Then type SEL disk, and then whatever the number is that your hard drive that your uh, recovery agent is on, or recovery partition is on, hard drive zero, since I only have one drive that's uh, Okay, it says disk zero is now selected. Type list part, and you want to find the primary partition, which is the OS partition, because you need to shrink this partition by 250 gig. So you type SEL part space three, since th partition three is the primary partition, which is my operating system partition. Partition four is a re Windows recovery partition. So you type shrink space desired equals 250 space minimum 250 to shrink your primary operating system partition 250 megabyte megabits megabytes because the recovery partition is not big enough to install this patch because this patch that fails updates a critical vulnerability for the uh, BitLocker bypass. Nice, right? Uh, so if you have BitLocker enabled on your hard drive and it's encrypted, malicious entities can bypass your encryption and get to your files and data at rest and etc. So you type SEL part for me four for the recovery partition to select your recovery partition it says partition four is now the selected partition then you type delete partition override and this will delete partition four make sure you select the correct partition the recovery partition if you run this command and you delete partition three which is probably your operating system where all your files are, it's gone and you're screwed. So now you need to check whether your partition is MBR or GPT. And you do that by typing list disk. And you see that disk zero and it has GPT with an asterisk beside it. So that means my hard drive is GPT. Okay, if your disk is GPT, which I think most Windows 10 in fresh installs would be GPT, you type this command. I'll have all these commands in the description below and link to the article on Microsoft. This part succeeded in creating the specified partition. Then you type GPT attributes and this code. And then it'll assign the correct uh, permissions and stuff to it. If for some reason your disk is an MBR partition or MBR format 
you'd type create partition primary ID equals 27. I'm not going to run that because I'm not a MBR profile or disk. And to format this partition that you just created, whether it's GPT or MBR, you go format quick FS equals NTFS label equals parentheses Windows RE tools and verify that the win recovery partition was successfully created and it's 250 megabyte bigger than what it was and type exit to leave this part then re-enable your windows recovery agent partition then check to see everything's working correctly it's the same partition heart same hard drive same partition only you know uh 250 megabit bigger then you can run your windows update and that patch should install so now i have no errors and uh it works hope this helps